What's up guys, it's Juno. Welcome to another Pokemon Showdown Live. Um, not actually sure what number this, number this is, because I kind of got to do the math after uh, those lives with Leo. Um, if you guys haven't checked those out already, I encourage you to do so. But anyway, happy Monday to all of you. Um, we're going to be returning to the UU tier this week because, you know, NE was fun, but uh, I think it's time for some more UU destruction. Um, anyway, I'm going to use this team that my boy Brennan passed me that he actually built around being mono blue and being dragon spam, which is pretty fun. So, anyway, um, first Pokemon is Specs Cure, and because we both kind of wanted to use it, but he just ended up making a better team around it as per the usual. Uh, choice Specs, uh, Draco, Dragon Pulse, Ice Beam, and Earth Power. Um, then we have SD, uh, Flame Orb, Heracross, um, Guts, of course to break down a lot of common walls and make things a lot easier for Sceptile because Sceptile is pretty weak so you know more power to break down stuff like floor just is always appreciated SD, CC, knockoff and facade and then we also have Spadef and Polion which is this team's Pidgeot check, Rocker and Defogger which is all very very nice um, also can take some hits from Florges and just generally annoy it, which is great. Uh, Scald, Defog, Stealth Rocks, and Roar. And then we also have Sub-CM Shandy, which uh, is our Florges counter because, you know, it comes in on Florges, can set up a sub in its face, it's a roll on whether it breaks the sub, then can CM up on it and uh, just beat it 1v1, which is very, very nice. Sub-CM, Flamethrower, and Shadow Ball. And then we also have Sceptile, um, which, like, this kind of count counts as blue. But <laughs> anyway, uh, it's sub three attacks. Giga Drain, Dragon Pulse, Focus Blast, and sub. And then we also have Choice Scarf Mensa as our, uh, of course, Scarf around the team. And also our Mensa check Outrage, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, and Fire Blast. So I did go ahead and uh, stop tilting into UU. I'm not that high up yet. Um, let me actually check where I am, if it will load, which, you know, hopefully it does. Uh, hey, Teddy's one on the ladder. Um, I'm at 279, so, you know, I'm back up there, sort of, so. Hopefully I can continue said success, and, uh, like, the goal, where, where was I? Like, I literally just had myself pulled up. It cannot be that hard to find. Okay, 279. The goal this week is to get to 1,500, get myself back inside the top 150, so we'll see how that goes. As my dog's moving around anywhere, and we got a match versus Chris, though, um, who's actually an, an SPL player, and very cool. My dog's running around everywhere, but anyway... Um, Christo's team is very, very threatening to mine, especially because he does have that there, Slurpluff. Um, I feel like he's either going to lead Crook or Nidoqueen. Either way, I feel like my best play is Kurum, because it does fire off a pretty free Ice Beam. Um, he does end up leading with Pidgeot, which is not good for me. Um, I'm feeling like... I'm feeling like Dragon Pulse is the play right here. I'm feeling like it is. Because... Uh, he won't want to stay in and take this attack. He'll predict the ice attack and go into Suicune. Um, so I'm just going to fire off a Dragon Pulse and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see where we go from there. If he does stand and fire off a Hurricane, as long as he doesn't confuse me. Hey, look at that. Weakening the, the counter, turn one. Christo, I don't like you. <laughs> um, anyhow, we shall see uh, what goes on from here. I'm assuming he's just going to U-turn. Um, I was feeling lucky. Indeed, you were. Um, so I'm just going to go out into Polion here, which is probably the play I should have made turn one. I just kind of wanted to nuke Suicune as he makes the good double out into Crocodile, um, which really isn't that big of an issue because I can probably just go into Harrow right here to take the EQ or the knockoff. Either one of them works, although I'm kind of assuming he's going to knock off, so I want to stay in here. Although, seeing as I can't really lose this thing. Um... Is, is it already time to sack Kiram? No. I'm, I'm going to go out in Hera. Because, if anything, I can just get a free CC off. He does go for the EQ. Um, so, something is dying. Or, something is taking a significant amount of damage right here. Um, I think I'm just going to go straight away for the facade. Because he won't want to leave this in and sack this, I don't think. Although, he just does and knocks me out with another Earthquake. So, fancy that. Uh, good play on his part. But, I can just go out into the one, the only, Sceptile. I'm, I'm assuming Sceptile can kill. Am I wrong to do so? Maybe. Um, Sceptile is actually kind of a threat versus his team. Because if I can get rocks up and uh, I can 2 it KO Pidgeot on the switch, which is always nice. Um, although I feel like I should just go into Kiram right here and uh, fire off a Draco. I think that is the play. Because I don't see him switching into Slurpluff and risking that this early in the game. Um, as he just goes ahead and sacks Crook, so that is great for me. Um... 
All your boy has to do, he goes into Puff right here, which is fine. All your boy has to do is go out in a Shandy right here. I don't think Slurpluff can knock me out at plus six with Play Rough, so he does end up going for the Belly Drum, which is fine. I can just go straight away for the Flamethrower. This will do a good amount of damage, as Play Rough does end up missing, which is really unfortunate for Chris, though. Um, but, you know, like, at this point in the match, uh, ye. Um, actually seeing that, I don't think it would have mattered, because I could have outpaced him with Scarf Mints, and uh, just knocked him out at that point. So, you know, while it's really unfortunate that that had to happen for Christo, I don't think that it is anywhere near, um, I think I had a way to revenge, so not quite sure how much it mattered, unless her was a a roll. All right. Um. Anyway, so what we're gonna do right here is we're just gonna go and sack Shandy, go for the flamethrower, um, because he does end up going for the volt switch. So that's a good play. We do see this is life orb. Um. I have a scarfer. <laughs> um. Let, let me uh, instead of talking, just uh, slur puff. Uh. Assuming this is two fifty two. 243 times 2 is like 500. Are you max speed Ada? <laughs> I, the full negotiation going on right here. Um, anyway, I'm just going to come in and get up my rocks right here. Um, I'm assuming he's 200. Which would put him at 460. Oh. <laughs> you know, well, he would have won there, so that's really unfortunate for him, but you know, uh, nothing I can do about it. it. It is really unfortunate that Kurim is this weak, because having Pidgeot out of the way would be very nice, but you know, we're, we're all, we're trading 10% chances right here. Um, he's just going to go into Lisk right here, which is a good play. Um, I do kind of want to preserve this thing though, so what I am actually, actually no, I don't even die. I'm going to roar. Um, he hyper voices, so that is good for me. I'm able to get this thing out of here as uh, do roar and back out in Pidgeot. Um, I feel like I can just go for the Scald right here relatively safely. Um, yeah. Didn't think you were gonna do the thing, T-Bolt. Um, so I'm just gonna go and get my rocks up right here because uh, as he does switch out in Lisk, so that is very, very good for me. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and pivot out Nakirim right here, pretty much as Death Fodder, um, because it does put some good offensive pressure on his team, as he does choose the Hyper Voice. Good play on his part. Um, but at this point, do I just win with Sceptile, as long as I like pivot around out of my stuff? Um, let me go ahead and calc this real quick, because to be honest, I'm not even sure Sceptile kills this. Um, so we're going to go septile hit me up with that mega septile real quick timid versus your boy helio lisk are you special attacker that's what i want giga drain is not even going to kill that's embarrassing 60 to 75 not even going to kill septile you're horrible you're actually just a garbage mod um i guess right here what i'm going to do is then uh, go out into mints and uh just click Dragon Claw, because I will be able to knock Lisk out from this range, um, and I do kind of force him into this thing, uh, Suicune, so, yeah, they, Christo sees it this kind of good game at this point, uh, sorry for the hacks, bud, um, kind of unfortunate that he missed the play rough, um, but again, it's also kind of unfortunate that Pidgeot wasn't dead turn one, um, yeah, not all hacks is created equal. Um, so yeah, anyways, really unfortunate that that had to happen to Christo, but you know, um, in some sense it's part of the game. Um, and while I know that's like, oh, well, you know, like, get good, it's like, that, that's not really what I'm trying to say, and like, I think Christo kind of knows that, but anyway, he's just going to scald, he does get the burn, which is fine, I'm just going to roar him straight out right here, I think his best play is to stay in here and just get off an extra 8%, which he does decide to do, is I roar him out into the one and only Heliolisk, which, you know, is fine, um, out of all the things I need this the least, so I'm just going to click roar right here, um, if he does T-Bolt, which he did, so good play on his part, 
um, doesn't really matter though I don't think because I can just go into Sceptile and click Giga Drain um, knock this thing out actually I'm gonna click is Dragon Pulse my better play Dragon Pulse may very well be my better play um, did I choke that's entirely possible um, anyway I'm gonna click Giga Drain right here because this should kill unless he's like bulky Heliolisk so um, yeah that does end up going down I get the crit but did not matter because your boy has the calcs all pulled up right here Giga Drain does 53% minimum. He goes into the Nidoqueen. Queen. Um, it's a matter of is of if I can get a good enough Outrage roll to knock that out. So anyway, I'm gonna go for the uh, Dragon Pulse right here. We'll see what he does. Um, wouldn't be shocked to see a Poison move come my way because this does seem like an offensive Nidoqueen Queen rather than defensive. Um, as he just goes for the Beam and knocks me out. So. Um, oh, I choked. I choked so hard. I shouldn't have left him Polion in. I should have just gone out in immense. Um, anyway, I'm gonna click Outrage, I think. Actually, let me calc this for Suicune. OU Crocoon, um, versus, what, what's this thing's name? Salamence, yeah. Um, OU Choice Scarf, this should be Jolly. Outrage will not to a game. Uh, I mean, I, I, I kind of have to go straight away for the Outrage. I, I th really thought his best play was switching out right there. Um, cause now if I get a three turn and I don't get burned, I think it's over. Yeah. Um, I basically can't hit myself in confusion. Um, uh, where is burn? <laughs> don't burn. Good game. Um, nothing I can really do about that. Like, if I crit him right here, that's beautiful, but, um... Please kill, kill. Ugh. Good game. Um, so you know, not a whole lot I can do about that. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, that'll probably wrap up today's live. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, as it really does help uh, show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, uh, which is how has Hacks been treating you guys lately? Because as you can see, it's kind of been all over the place in this battle, but with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content, and with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.